Now we're going to display our skills the exact same way as we did our vitals and our attributes. So we'll cut and paste it, change our vital name to skill name, down here as well. And instead of get vital, we'll want get skill. And we'll be passing in its index as well. We we'll want the adjusted base value. Now for the placement, I'm going to go a little bit different. I don't want it to be placed at the bottom of it. I want it to be placed over here to the right of it. So for that, I'm going to clear this part out. And I'm just going to move it to the right. So our other one started at 115 and we're adding 30. It's 145. So we'll start at 150. And then we'll add 105 to that to make it 255. And let's see how that looks. There's no errors. And it didn't display. So let me take a look here. I didn't put my name in there. Try it again. And there we go. Now we'll probably want to move this over a little bit more because we are going to have to have room for some buttons right here. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to move it over another 100. There we go. It's a little bit more than we needed, but for now that's fine. So now let's go ahead and set some default values for our attributes. So we're going to create a constant for the amount of points a player has to spend on his attributes when he starts up. And a constant is, it's just like a variable except it can't be changed. So we're going to make a private const. It's going to be an integer. And the amount of points you want your character to be able to spend on their attributes. I'm just going to say 50 each, that's 350. And you need an equals. And don't forget to name it. I'm going to call mine starting points. I'm also going to create another constant for the minimum starting value of each attribute. So I'm going to call that private const. If it helps. <laughs> going to be an integer and I'm going to call this one min all in capitals starting attribute value and I'm going to set mine to 10 so all my starting attributes will have a minimum value of 10 now down in my start method, I want to actually go through all of my attributes and set their base value to my minimum starting attribute. So I'm just going to create a for loop. Actually, we can just copy this one down here and just adjust it. So we're already looping through our attributes. So now we just want to set their value. So tune, get primary attribute, send in the index, now we're going to set the base value, and we're going to set it to min, starting attribute value. Now let's save that off and make sure it works. We're not getting any errors, so when we start it up, 
there we go all of our attributes are at 10. Now we'll also want a way to display how many points they have left to spend so let's add that to our GUI next so I'm just going to add it right here and I'll come down here and create that function Now it's just simply going to be a GUI label and I want it to have it and I want to have it on the same line as where the name is so I'm just going to copy that one paste it in change what it's displaying so points left we'll have to have some variable thereafter but let's move its position over. I'm going to keep it lined up with where the skill starts, so at 250. And it's going to have to be wider. So I'm going to make it, uh, yeah, we'll just do 100 for now. So now let's go ahead and create this variable to display down here. So again, it will be private. It will be of an integer and we'll just call it points left. Now in our start function, I'm going to put it right here. I'm just going to initialize it to be equaling our starting point. Then as we spend points, it'll decrease. Now we could just leave it as points left and it's an integer, but since we're adding it or concatenating it a string, it'll automatically convert it for us. But if you want, just to get into the habit of it, you can specifically type cast it to a string. So let's start that up. Points left, 350. Let's add a little space between the where the value is and the colon. Okay, so now let's go on to start making our buttons to increase and decrease our attributes. So that's going to be in our display attribute function. And I'm going to have it display right after the actual value. And it's going to be a button. So we'll have gy.button new rec. And there's going to be a negative sign for one and a positive sign for the other. But let's position this one first. So we know we've already gone over 115 and 30, so that's 145. So we'll make this one at 150. And we'll want it on the same line. So we're just going to grab this. We're going to make it a square button, so we'll just do 25 by 25. It might look a little funny, but we can adjust it later. And we're, we're going to want that plus one as well. And since it's 25 wide, we'll want to add 30, so 180. Now let's just take a look to see how that looks on the screen before we actually add the functionality of what the button does. It actually doesn't look that bad.